Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how I extended these wooden mountains from my last video which if you haven't got a chance to check then please do, the link is in the description box below and added some more elements to these mountains by using techniques like wood carving, raisin art and of course my all time favorite wood burning. So without further ado, let's start creating. So my husband started off by creating a riverbed by first drawing a rough outline of the river. He then used a circular saw and started to shave out the wood surface in an attempt to create a small riverbed. We did not have a palm router with us, hence we used a circular saw for this purpose. While doing this cut, the guard of the saw was lifted, so please be extra careful and only do it if you're extremely comfortable and capable of using the saw like this. But we made sure that we are not going too deep or we may have ended up creating a hole in the wood which we definitely did not want. Also this piece of wood is again one of the scrap wood pieces from an old bed frame. Then we used an angle grinder to smoothen our river surface and got it ready for our next step. We also grinded away the top layer of the wood to create an uneven texture for creating the rough patches of the land. Now since this wood piece is a part of an old bed frame, so of course it had some old nail holes which needed to be filled before we used raisin on it. So for filling the holes, we have used the all-purpose interior construction adhesive which we have used in our broken mirror Christmas tree video. Next we added equal parts of raisin and hardener in a small plastic cup and added a tiny bit of the powdered sapphire blue pearl pigment and gave everything a good mix. Thank you. 
We have not been really lucky with the raisin before, so we wanted to play safe this time and hence we decided to use the tiniest amount of raisin and color. Next, we just poured our raisin mixture into the river bed that we made before. This river bed will also act as a mold for our raisin and make sure that everything holds together. Obviously, we needed more color and raisin than we have used here, so we made another batch and this time used some more pigment. Once the raisin is nicely cured, we started with our wood burning step. We found this coat from Ansel Adams which we wood burn onto the corner of the riverbed. If you want to know more about the wood burning process then please make sure to check my playlist on it to get more tips on how to do wood burning. After the wood burning process, it's time to do some very basic chiseling and carving. We drew some smaller streams that would be merging into this main river and used a chisel tool and hammer and started to chisel. We also scraped some of the surface to get that rough uneven ground texture. This extension piece was a bit longer than the mountain part so we had to measure and cut off the extra length. We next made a lip on this extended piece by using a circular saw so that the mountain part can sit on this extended piece and appear seamless. We then made another batch of raisin and poured it into these smaller streams. Finally, we finished off this project by DIYing our frame and that's it. Our lighted wooden mountain wall art is finally complete. We were happy to add our own elements into this Etsy inspired wood art and be able to extend the original piece. The new dimensions of this wood wall art with the frame is 48 inches by 24 inches. Taking into account that we used some scrap wood pieces and some supplies that we already had, the total cost of this project for us was $26.62 while in market, this piece of around the same size is sold around at $200 to $350. It can be a great conversation starting piece for your living room and of course an amazing way to add that rustic element to your bedroom. 
The best part of this extended version is that it's completely detachable, so in case you don't want the extended version, you can always remove it. That flexibility is always good, right? So let me know what you think of this completed mountain wood wall art. We would love to hear your thoughts and views on whether you liked it with the new elements or did you prefer it without the extended version. Leave them all in the comment section below. And of course, if you liked the efforts, then please make sure to smash that like button. And if you want to see more of my DIY videos, then please subscribe and hit the bell for regular updates. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope my videos inspire you to try something new. Please take care and stay safe.